Most of the people in Malawi live in rural areas, don't have access to good roads. Hospitals are not enough, trained healthcare workers are not enough when compared with the population. So that creates a gap between those people and the medical experts. So what we try to do is work with the governments to find out what are their key challenges, what are their key barriers, and how can we help create innovative solutions or um, help foster innovation from within and then take that to scale with the Ministry of Health. When I submitted my idea, I believed it would save lives and improve access to healthcare. People would get discouraged to, to, to go to hospitals um, uh, because of the type of, of care that they expect to get. And uh, when you add the misinformation that comes through communities, a lot of myths going around, that leads to a lot of deaths in, in infants. So I believe technology can help bridge that, um, let people uh, have access to expert medical care. With the Chipatra Chapa phone, which is a literal translation as the health center by phone, it's an M Health facility where women are able to phone in on a toll free line to ask information about the uh, maternal health services. And now we've even expanded to any information that they would want to hear about their health. It's also a tailored messaging service, so if the child is under one, then the parent will receive messages that are tailored to them at that period of time to tell them what should be introduced in terms of food, how tall they're supposed to be around that period of time. So both the hotline and the SMS are really personalized and so they can make an, a difference on that person's life. Before the project, in this village there was a lot of problems in terms of transport from here to the facility, which is 13 kilometers from here. Both moms and babies were dying. And were dying just because of ignorance and lack of information about the pregnancy and the care for the young ones. So the key to CCPF and the success of it has been the partnerships. So one, we have had the support um, and the guidance of the Ministry of Health from the beginning. They were a part of it in developing the software itself and they've been huge champions of the service. Also the private-public partnership with Airtel will make it sustainable because they zero rate the calls and that has been huge. It's scaling up to a point where um, companies like Airtel and also the Ministry of Health, uh, um, um, the government of Malawi, is coming on board to adopt it and um, scale it up nationally. So that's something that I didn't imagine and it's really great uh, testimonies of um, mothers who have been assisted by the service and just hearing those stories is really, feels really great. We know that the Ministry of Health alone cannot be able to reach each and every uh, citizen or every client uh, in the country. So we really appreciate these other services that are complementing the work of the Ministry of Health. And then our clients, they'll be able to make informed decisions on their health. So I think together we can do bigger things. For me as a chief, it is a very good initiative to have a healthy community rather than to have a community with a lot of sick people that cannot develop. But with the coming in of the CCPF, we haven't had any maternal deaths or neonatal deaths in this area. So my vision for CCPF is to see the government take full ownership by July 1st of 2019 and for CCPF or something similar to it to be expanded to other um, countries so that people can benefit in the same way Malawians have been able to benefit.